All right, the pie chart shows the distribution of a person's time spent practicing certain sports. If the person spent somehow 12,300 total hours practicing sports, it's just an example, you guys. All right, I don't know how reasonable that is. How many hours were spent for soccer? Well, soccer, they spent 30% of that time of, the, of the, all those hours. So I uh, hope you guys remember the percent proportion stuff on this one which is what I would do, but you don't have to, it's up to you. So it's out of 100%, we have our percent above that, and uh, we already know the total amount of people, or hours I guess, I was thinking of a different example. The number of hours is 12,300, and so we want to know how many hours 30% of that would be. So that's how this sets up. Some of you guys would just take 0.3 and multiply it by 12,300. Just be careful doing that, okay? Because um, sometimes we may have to divide. Sometimes. All right. Well, I would use cross multiplication for this, which would give me 36, 9, and some zeros. And that would equal 100x. Is that okay? I'll, I'll show that in here. So there's our for the multiplication and now we would divide both sides by 100 and it gives us a pretty good number because we're just going to cross out some zeros these cancel out and we have x equals 3690 hours for this question specifically that was spent playing soccer number two how many hours were spent on gymnastics tennis and track this is going to work the same way as the soccer example, except for we're going to have to add all three of these. So we've got gymnastics, tennis, and track. And if we combine all three of those, so we got 20% plus 12% plus 11%, that would be 43%. So in the percent proportion, it's just 43 over the 100, and that should equal... Again, we already know the total number of hours, 12,300. We just want to know how many hours that would be. All right, so I'm going to use cross multiplication once again, 43 times 12,300. All right, so by cross multiplying, uh, that's a four, by the way, sorry. We get 43 times 12,300, which is that 528,900. Then we'll cross multiply the x and 100, which gives us 100x. And to solve this, we'll divide both sides by 100, which cancels out our 100s, leaving the x by itself, which is what we wanted. And that would be 5,289, because our zeros cancel out there. And that would be hours if we wanted to be really picky. Number three, what percent of total of the total hours were practicing gymnastics, soccer, and swimming? So let's look at those gymnastics, soccer, and swimming. I suppose not all at the same time, but if we added all those percentages together, that would tell us the percent of the total hours. So we have 11 plus 27 plus 30, and we're just going to add these together. 8 and, uh, oh man, 6. That would be 68% of those hours were gymnastics, soccer, and swimming. What fraction of the total time was spent on tennis? Well, tennis was 12% of the time, so that's 12% out of the 100%. What is this as a fraction reduced is what really we're looking for. So let's divide both of these by 4 and see what we have, because both of them are divisible by 4, and we have 3 over 25. That's good enough.